According to management of the Koforidia Technical University, the center, which was spearheaded by the Faculty of Built and Natural Environment, could not have come at a better time as the government tries its best to help achieve the SDG targets. The center will deal with extensive research work and provide relevant data to policymakers on all issues involving the 17 SDG goals. Bring to analyst illegal lumbering, a galam say, pollution of water bodies and degradation of forest covers, among others, continues to retard the achievement of these goals by 2030. In an interview with City News after the commissioning, the Vice Chancellor of the Koforidia Technical University, Professor David Kofia Suman, who questioned why the state is not rigorously protecting water bodies, raised concerns about how it may affect the next generation. We can mine, but we have to mine in a sustainable manner. Mine in such a way that it doesn't destroy our environment. I think that should be the focus. Because if I can put it, Lake Chad, in Chad, is gone because of improper management of that lake. And if we in sub saharan Africa, we allow our, our water bodies to go away, we may have to import water. And are we ready for that? Let us look at that. And for this thing, sustainable development goes to thrive. We need to involve everybody. It's about time that we even teach these things at school so that it doesn't become somebody's uh, kind of work, but it becomes the work of everybody. In an interview with City News on the theme, Towards Achieving Sustainable Development Goals by 2030, the Member of Parliament of Ufurikrum Constituency and Chairman of Environment, Science and Technology Committee of Parliament, Dr. Emmanuel Mafu, questioned why state institutions responsible to monitor, enforce and police the natural environment are not well resourced to efficiently carry out their mandate. What I would say is that we have sufficient legislation to regulate mining, we have institutions that are supposed to uh, be on the ground to make sure that they are monitoring what is going on. We have the security agencies that are law enforcement uh, agencies that are supposed to enforce law. So uh, more or less we have everything as far as the law and you know the, the, the institutions are concerned to be able to manage illegal uh, mining. So what what is now the issue is about enforcement and that is something that we, you know as a country we need to look at uh, and to see whether we are indeed enforcing and we also need to look at the institutions that are supposed to support the implementation of these laws so for example the minerals commission or the forestry commissions to what extent are these institutions actually uh, on the ground uh, I, I have a feeling that when you come to some of these natural resource uh, based institutions, the top is heavier than the base.